guys, I'm just up in my new little editing room. Actually, I'll show you this in another vlog. There's some plaster work that's been done there, it needs decorating, but I haven't introduced this video very well. So this is me coming from the future, editing the video. And um, yeah, just wanted to say, welcome to my organizing my hospital bag video. <laughs> and also I show you our new push chair. So uh, yeah, that's what's in the video because I don't even mention that. Hope you enjoy it and I'll just let myself carry on. Bye. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh wow, where should we put this? Oh, definitely need something to sit on. I know what we'll use. This trusty thing. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so let me get my coffee because I'm going to come closer. I am exhausted. There is a lot of makeup, a lot. Oh my gosh, where do we begin? So, hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new, let's do the normal intro. My name is Sally Faye. I'm a fashion and beauty illustrator and I'm also, I'm going to say I'm 34 weeks pregnant. I'm 34 weeks in like a day two days, whatever. Uh, so I'm 34 weeks pregnant. My first pregnancy, this is our first child, and shit is getting real. I'm so excited to film this video. I actually didn't realise quite how excited I would get by these kind of funny little milestones. Sorry, I am sat on my like, it's now a birthing ball, it was my exercise ball, but <laughs> I'm just sat on this. I think I'm having like Braxton Hicks, I'm very tender. I feel like I've got period pains. I was up all night with them. Lower back pain. I think she's turned. Um, so sorry, yeah, if uh, if you're new and you haven't kind of seen any of my pregnancy journey, we're having a girl um, and she is due in six weeks. But yeah, I was, I've had a really bad night's sleep. Couldn't get comfortable. Oh, as if my battery's flashing. I need to go and buy another battery because not good. Okay, I'm gonna have to put this on charge and you have to wait. Maybe I'll feel a bit more organized actually because I have no idea what I'm doing in this video. <laughs> it's been a while, I've been out. I have to go and send some book orders, come here. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were scared of the ball. Um, you had to go send some book orders. I thought I'd get, up, get that done. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I know. you like this room, don't you? Are you excited to be a big sister? Are you gonna be have you got an obsession with buggies at the moment? Anyone pushing a buggy, she wants to go and have a look, which is bizarre because this has never happened. I don't really think she likes children that much. But you're obsessed, aren't you? It's really strange. You're a good girl. Smell oh, lovely. Um, so yeah, just been out to send some book orders and I popped the boots whilst I was in town and just picked up a few bits um, because they look like their shelves look pretty empty of certain baby things. She's nice sniffing the nappies, marvellous. Um, so yeah, I just grabbed like the last grow egg. Let me show you what I got actually. So I got one of these, this has been recommended by my sister-in-law. So I got the Tommy TP, um, is it grow egg? Yeah, grow egg. So it changes colour depending on the temperature of the room. So if it goes red, it's too hot. If it goes blue, it's too cold. So I got all of those because that was on our list and it was a little bit cheaper in boots than what I had seen online. I don't know where I looked at it, maybe John Lewis. Um, and then I also got this, because this was also on our list, and it was the last one, Tommy Tippy um, Health Care Kit. So it's like their nails, toothbrush, scissors. I bet she'll need a toothbrush. A little nasal aspirator, which sounds disgusting. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, a little carry case, so it's all really compact, really handy, that can just go in our bathroom. Um, for when we're having bath time. I think that's all I really got for her. Oh no, I got her a couple of bath sponges. Our Angel Care bath is hopefully arriving today or tomorrow. And some water wipes. So I've heard good things about these and I wanted to give them a try. So I just picked up one for now, just in case we hate them or she hates them. So I've got one pack of those. And I also got another pack of the Eco by Natty, size one uh, nappies. I've already picked up one of these, but again, these were, these 25% off? 
I just thought I'll grab another pack. These can go in her hospital bag. Um, just so we've got some and I've got another pack. Just I just don't know what we're gonna get on with and what's gonna fit her and what she might she might hate these, she might react to them. She yeah, I don't really know what to expect. So I'm not going overboard on nappies because I know we can get them really easily. Um so yeah, we'll see. But I just thought we've got two packs of those, which is 50 nappies. Um yeah. We can always order or pop to the shops. We're we're in time. So that's what I got. I also picked up these maternity compresses, which I've been, um, these have been recommended uh, by an Instagram follower. So I picked these up. I'm not even gonna go into these. Hoping I don't need to use them, but they're there. They'll be going in my bag. I picked up um, a little face cloth to take to hospital with me. I picked up some paracetamol because these kind of pains I'm getting, I've just put it on face on Instagram and people have said paracetamol. So I haven't taken paracetamol for months, probably since I was having migraines. So I'm going to try not to take them, but if I feel I need them, we've got some in the house. And then a packet of uh, biodegradable face wipes, again, just for the hospital. Purely for ease. I went for the simple ones. Yeah. Don't hate me. I'm going for... Um, practicality which we'll take those so that's what i've just picked up i'm gonna go and get i think i'm gonna take a handheld like um what are they called like the carry-on suitcases so a small suitcase but it's got wheels so it's really easy just to wheel it to the car um and i know it will fit hopefully enough oh i am uncomfortable today I'm not very usually uncomfortable in the day. I'm normally quite active in the morning and wanting to walk around a lot, walk dogs. I am sore. Oh my gosh. I need to show you this. Oh, the brakes on. I need to show you my push chair, guys. Oh. Oh. Maybe this is why Betty's more confident with, with a push chair because she's seen less in here. Oh my God. Are you ready for this? So total disclaimer, this has been gifted. This has been gifted by Eye Candy. I still can't get over it. Um, and we shared an, an illustration, which I will pop on screen now, which did really, really well. Um, you guys loved it on my Instagram and it did really well on their account. And it has been shared by a lot of other um, retailers. So yeah, really excited to hopefully, fingers crossed, we might be working on some more illustrations together. But otherwise, we will be working together on this push chair that they have gifted me. So I will be creating some content featuring this and it's beautiful. Let me show you. Oh my gosh. So this is the Eye Candy Serum. It's their designer collection um yeah it's absolutely gorgeous and it's all black all the metal work is black every button on here is black um the material is absolutely gorgeous we tried this one in store and it was the one that we both agreed felt the kind of sturdiest and it really suited our height so james is obviously a lot taller than me and yeah, it just kind of really, it really ticked all of our boxes when it comes to what we want the push chair to do and how we want it to perform. But obviously for me personally, I could not resist. I'm hoping I put this together right. I could not resist the all black. And I am obsessed. I think this is such a beautiful design. It's such incredible quality. The material, obviously I did a textiles um, degree, so I love the use of material and how it contrasts and the metal and the grip. Um, it seems really easy to use. The brakes just by the wheels. I'm gonna take the cloth off. There it is, there's the carry cot. In fact, you can see that gorgeous fabric. Oh my gosh. And I love that this um, kind of carry cot section was a lot bigger than some of the others, uh, a lot more roomier. It also comes with this, I think it's just beautiful. But everything is just beautiful quality. That's all kind of gorgeous, faux fur lined. Oh my life. She's gonna be snug as a bug. 
but yeah, I just love, I love it. I'm so, so pleased with it. I, built, I put it together and that was relatively easy. They have some fantastic videos on their website. In fact, I'll link this down below. Oh, clicks in. See, everything kind of just feels really solid. Really great quality. changing bag and all the extras like a rain hood it's got ah that's why i haven't i've not put it on the higher setting so it has these adapters that mean that it's higher up i'll put these on afterwards and it also has the car seat adapter so our car seat will click onto this our car seat is arriving today it's not eye candy um they don't do a car seat but they do do the adapters that means it will work together Oh, let's move all this. Right then, I'm going to say this is a true test. Oh yes, first time. <laughs> is he going to do it? Is he going to do it? Yes! I could do it! So it really is easy. Yes! These go to the face on the outside. That. And this. We'll click straight into there. Make sure it's all lined up. <sighs> Did you see that? And then now she's higher up. That's better. That's also what we like, that she will be higher up for us. And then this comes unclicked. Which side is it? This side. And then we just turn that there. And then we can just zip her out. But I will do a full review on it when, I, when I've actually properly used it. But um, yeah, first impressions, quality is gorgeous, design is gorgeous. Um, putting it together, I did it on my own, it was easy. It just came in a box with everything. It also comes with the next seat for when she's older. Um, but yeah, if you put all of this together, they've got some fantastic videos on the website. I'll link it all down below. You can do uh, do some research, but yeah, I would highly recommend this. And then that goes down there. Plenty of room at the bottom. What do you think? Does it suit me? Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm playing like mums and babies. This doesn't quite feel real. I put that down. Right, you can go back over here. I'm going to go and get my suitcase and we will start packing because I've been waffling on for ages. Right then, first things first, the bag. This is technically my husband's. <laughs> we got this from Zara, it's gorgeous. Um, but I'm gonna use this, he won't need it. So first things first, hospital notes. I'm gonna put my, well, my maternity pregnancy notes. Oh, yes. Cool. There's mine. They can go in there. Oh, my hip. <laughs> I'm falling apart. Um, where did I put my list? So, <laughs> number one, big black knickers. Well, they don't need to be black, but that actually was the colour that was suggested. I've been filling my Tiba and Marl changing bag, not with baby changing stuff, with stuff I've been collecting, so I'm gonna empty this. Whoa. Okay, it's these, these two first then, aren't they? Crikey. A full brief. I will not be wearing these again. People have said, just get stuff you can throw away. Oh, that's not gonna come off. Anyway, there's four pairs of big black pants. I might need to get more. What do we think? Leave me comments, do I need more than four? But then I've also bought something I never thought I'd be buying in my 30s. These. Tenor pull-ups. So, let's start filling you up. I'll shove them in for now. I'm going to take my and my pants. Okay. Then we have, what are these? Oh, I picked these up. So these are disposable breast pads. The, this particular brand, Lansino, I don't know, were recommended on Instagram. So I've taken a pack out. 
I'm not sure how many is in a pack. Let's say 10. So we're taking those. Okay. What else? We haven't got everything on here yet. All of the snacks. Again, you guys know me well. I have actually brought some snacks up because I did these on the food shop and I was like, actually these can go in my bag. So I've got some greys, little protein, oat bites. Me and James both love these. So there's four in there. And then also just for now, some protein greys nuts. I might not want these but they're things i know we both like so even if he just eats them obviously i'll get more but for now those would do um what else have we got on here energy drinks i'll get those later on at a different time um did i get oh i got some fem fresh wipes just to freshen up that was recommended so there's a pack of them just a little pack um cozy fluffy socks so i've been and got two pairs from primark i wear these anyway around the house i find these really i love putting these on at night so i just picked up two more that are nice and new just the nice black fluffy ones um i also picked up a pair of little slippers again just so i'm not going to be barefoot if i need to walk around I'm also going to take some flip-flops, which I haven't got at the moment. Um, but they've been recommended for the shower. So i just got these little... Again, these are £2 from Primark. Um, okay. Same brand as the breast pads. i got some nipple cream. Nipple cream. Self-explanatory. Found my face. Um, what else did I get? Oh, lip balm. Is that on this list? Yeah. Lip balm. Everyone says that um, the gas and air, if I have it, really dries your lips out. I also get quite dry lips anyway, um, especially if I'm doing all the breathing. So I got the Lana lips. I treated myself. So I got that. Pillow from home. I don't know if I'm allowed to take a pillow. Someone said I might not be able to do to fire safety restrictions but we'll put one in the car because that is something that I would would take for comfort okay nursing top or a nighty actually first thing is I've got a gorgeous um I've got a dressing gown for my mum for Christmas for Marks and Spencers but it's this lovely it's the same material as these bottoms it's like a gorgeous really soft kind of jersey material so it's not really fluffy so I'm going to take that as my dressing gown and then I'll just want to wear like either a crop top, like a little bralette thing um, during labour. And then if I'm walking around and I want something on my bottom half, I'll probably just put these on. I kind of want my bump out. Um, I want to be able to see my bump, I think. That's just kind of how I feel about it. Um, that might change. But anyway, I've picked these up. So those are my bottoms that I'll take with me. There's been a lot of chat about how much blood there is, so thanks for that, guys. I'm fully prepared for the blood. Um, and then I picked up this from H&M. Just a big oversized t-shirt. Covers the bump. It will cover my bum as well. So I've got that. Do you think I need two of these? Can you leave me a comment? Is one enough if I don't really want to wear it? Um, yeah, let me know what you think. This was £12.99 from H&M. If it doesn't get destroyed, I'll definitely use that again. So hopefully that can come home with us. I just picked these up off Boohoo. In fact, that's where I got a couple of other pieces from and they went straight back because they were horrible. These are inoffensive. I didn't want any underwiring and all of that. I wanted something that was quite gentle. So it, these came in a two pack. Maternity two-pack t-shirt style nursing bra. So can you see that? I thought they were quite sweet. And then they just unclip like a nursing bra does and they come in black and grey. So I thought the grey would just be nice with my grey bottoms and my grey dressing gown. But otherwise I'll be in the black. So I've got two of those. Again, should I order two more? Like as in another pack, so I'll get two more. So I'll have four. I went for a UK medium. No idea. They fit quite nicely at the moment. I think medium's fine. 
leave any advice down below for me come on i need your help so i've got two of those that might need to be doubled up okay what else is on here comfy outfit to go home in oh not quite that i like it i do have another t-shirt so i've got one from asos as well i completely forgot i'm gonna take my boots off because i'm sat down just a big big t-shirt bang i've got two that's fine that's plenty and then i got these my husband hates these but i just thought who knows what's going to happen downstairs i'm just i don't have no idea i don't want to know i'm sure it could be absolutely horrific i could be in agony for a long time there could be stitches i i know i know they're men's i went for a small and they're that drop crotch I look like I have shit myself, which really is probably how I'm going to feel. <laughs> oh my God, what am I doing to my body? Um, but I just thought, how great. I've only got to walk from the hospital to the car. Depending on the weather, I'll probably have a coat on as well. So you probably won't even see what I'm wearing. Um, I just thought for ultimate comfort in the crotch area, amazing. I actually really love that style as well. <laughs> I did make James put them on. It's the funniest, funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. He won't be having these afterwards. But I just thought, just for those first few days, if it's, you know, very tender down there. Anyway, got these. We'll link them, just in case you understand the method of my madness. Also, I'm going to take, um, which I'm wearing at the moment, my leggings that I wear, um, my big H&M oversized hoodie, Yes, I can just see me wanting to put that on. And if I do feel okay down there that I want to put my leggings on, I'll wear my leggings instead. But I just thought they'll come in handy, I think, in that first initial week. Um, but yeah, we'll see. But that's those are things that I'm still wearing, so I won't pack those yet. I'll probably end up going to the hospital in those as well. Okay, earphones, not going to pack those yet. Um, Flip-flops, need to get some of those. Or my, I've got some slides downstairs. Hair ties, I've got those, but I'm using them. So, oh, have I got a spare one? Let's just put one in. Two little black scrunchies. It's what I'm using at the moment. These are great. I'll pop those in. They're just some boots, I think they were like a pack of five. They're not silk. I think a few people thought these were silk. They're just kind of cotton, but they're good. They actually stay put. Whew. Right, what else? Dressing gown. Funny story about that dressing gown. Bearing in mind I'm nearly 34 weeks pregnant. I sat in bed last night in the dressing gown because we'd just come upstairs and the dogs were kind of like sat around me, had James next to me. So I was in kind of like a slightly trapped position and my legs were at a funny angle and I sneezed and I wet myself. <laughs> it wasn't a full on wee, but it was substantial that I'm gonna have to wash my dressing gown. It's not, it's not um, glamorous pregnancy life. Water bottle with a straw. In fact, I need to order one of these because that does sound great. Because I think if James tries to provide me with hydration, it will probably end up all over me. So yes, at least you can just hand it and I can just sip out of it. So I'm gonna get one of those off Amazon. Um, I'm not doing baby outfits yet. She's gonna have her own bag. Arnica cream, did I get any of that? What even is that? No. Is that for bruising? I think I'll be okay with the compressors. Here we go, so those are going in, what I picked up earlier. In you go. Face wipes, they can go in. I'm gonna put together a little toiletries bag with like some cleanser, some ooh, moisturizer. Um, I'm gonna take my Burt's Bees, ooh. No, because I'm still using that daily. The Burt's Bees body oil. I'm going to take that in case I want James to have my back. And I want a bit of like, nothing worse than someone rubbing a dry back. So I'm going to take some of that because I find it really soothing and I like the smell. Um, so I'm going to put together a little toiletries bag. But again, these are things that I'm using at the moment. So I won't do that just yet. But I'm going to put this little face cloth in. Oh, there we go. I just picked that up in boots. So I've got that. I also picked up 
Two toothbrushes, uh, just for me and James, rather than taking our electric one, obviously. So we've got two toothbrushes, we've got a toothbrush each. I'm gonna make him take a little bag of like a change of clothes, um, his iPad. Hey, yeah, get James to do his own bag. But he's in charge of that. But yeah, things like his iPad that we can, I have no idea, we might not be in there long. We could be in there days. So charges and things like that he can be in charge of. I'm gonna take this camera, memory card, I'm gonna buy a spare battery pack. Um, so I won't pack any of that yet. Pregnancy notes there and there, toiletries can't pack that yet. I did buy these maternity mats, which I saw in boots. Um, but I think we'll just leave these, I'll just leave these in the cupboard because I use those in the car in case anything goes on the seat. Um, and I think you can also put them, I could probably put one under my bed sheet, maybe around 37 weeks, just in case she arrives early. Uh, but yeah, I don't need those for now. Is that everything for now? Yeah, things like phone chargers. Oh, I want to get a little electric fan. Um, someone recommended that for like, just keeping cool, also for drying your bits. <laughs> I just don't know. Um, yeah. Okay, I feel good for having just put that in a bag. That is the start. That's a good start. I feel good for just having that ready. Probably should have written a list of what's actually in there. I'll just go, I'll write the list as I go through uh, the video and I'll link anything that I think might be useful. Um, I do need to do her bag, but I'll do that in a different video because I've got a feeling this is gonna be really long otherwise. Um, you might be able to see her little rail that's been put up. We're putting another one up in the other alcove. So that's there, I'll put a picture on the screen of the Instagram post I shared of that. You guys loved it. Um, so yeah, it's getting really excited now. Oh, that's really kind of cheered me up because I was feeling a little bit meh about being uh, all sore. But yes, really excited. I'm gonna fill the Tiba and Marl bag with her bits, but we'll do that in a different video. That is me done. I feel so much better. I'm gonna have some lunch. It's one o'clock. Oh, the day has gone fast. What's happening? And I've had an order. I seem to be getting more orders at the moment. So thank you. I didn't expect many book orders at all in January because December's so busy. Um, so yeah, off topic, I'm talking about my book. But anyway, I will see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna see more, or you want to come back for my videos please subscribe click like if you did enjoy this and uh, yeah leave me a comment down below i love replying to your comments and um, make sure you follow me on instagram sally underscore Faye, for more pregnancy updates more fashion content and yeah just me being me <laughs> i will see you soon bye <laughs>